So Microsoft released a new function in Excel recently called XLOOKUP, which is supposed to make lookups easier. I had a lot of high hopes with this function and I was hoping it would fix some of the main issues that we had with our previous functions, but unfortunately they didn't do that. If you are already doing something like index and match, it's not giving you much of anything extra on top of that. Uh, there are some things in this function that are interesting. So it adds functionalities like doing a binary search and things like that. But realistically, in most spreadsheets, you're not gonna need that. Let me show you what the problem is and the problem that didn't get fixed. So if I was trying to do a VLOOKUP and I had this list of stock numbers here in this table, and I have this matching stock numbers in this other table, and I'm trying to get maybe costs from here moved on to this. If I go here and do a VLOOKUP, I will click on this stock number as a lookup value, comma. Then the table array would be this table where this is the first column where we search, stock number. And I'm gonna do F4 to make sure this table is absolute reference, comma. Then I'm gonna do column number, which is for cost, that would be one, two, three, the third column, comma. And then finally, we have the type of match, which can be exact match or approximate. So I'm gonna do exact match for this, which can be false or zero. So if I do this and drag this down, you will see that it gets me some of the matches. Now you can see this one gets me an NA because if we look for this item ending with 874, it's just basically not in this list. So therefore we cannot find that. However, the other issue that we have here is that if you look at this product number that ends with 280, which is this one, if you look here in the cost column, it's blank. However, VLOOKUP gets us that blank as a zero. And then the same way, if I look at this 430, this is actually zero, but you can't tell the difference between the two because this is zero and this is zero. One of them should be blank, which is this one, 280. So this should have been blank, but it's not. Now, if you do index match, you're gonna get the same results. So if I did like index match variation and I do index of this array of costs right here and do F4 to lock this comma and then do match function and then click on this lookup value that I'm searching comma, and then I'm gonna search for that value with our match function in this column of stock numbers, F4 to again, absolute reference that, comma, and zero for exact match in this case, close parentheses, and close parentheses again for our index function. So if I do this using index match, we should get the same result as you can see. Now, I'm not really gonna explain too much how index match or VLOOKUPs actually work. If you need more details about those, I have videos in detail covering VLOOKUP and index and match and all of that. But here, I wanna show you how they introduced this XLOOKUP that is supposedly a better function that does the same problem where it cannot figure out the difference between a blank and a zero. So if I do XLOOKUP, and I'm gonna do a lookup value, which is the stock number, comma. Then here we have the lookup array, which is basically the column where you're searching for this stock number, which will be this column of stock numbers right in here in this column. I'm gonna do F4 to lock this, comma. And then after the comma, we have the return array, which is gonna be this column of costs. And F4 again to lock that. And the rest are optional here. By default, it defaults to exact match. So we don't have to do that false or zero that we do with VLOOKUP or match function. But here, see, I get this. And if I drag this formula down, well, I get the same results. So it still cannot tell the difference between a blank and a zero. So the only practical thing we're getting here is just some syntax sugar here that instead of doing like this, I'm gonna be doing this, right? So while I'm showing you this problem, I'm also gonna show you the way we would 
fix that problem. What I could do, I could take this thing right here, this array, and put it inside of an if function. So if I do an if function here, and I'm gonna say if that whole range equals to blank, comma, then put a blank, comma, otherwise I'm gonna reselect that same range and do an F4 to lock it and close parentheses. So basically what I'm saying is that if the cell is blank, then put an empty string in that particular cell. Otherwise, just put whatever's in the cell. So let me show you what happens when I do this. So if I do this and drag this formula down, see now we can tell the difference. This 280 actually returns that empty cell instead of giving us the zero, which is what we didn't need. Now we could have done this same sort of trick with our index and match. So here I really only need to do this index range the same way. So this range, I'm just gonna put it inside of an if function. I'm gonna say if that range equals to blank, comma, then I want it blank, comma, Otherwise, I want the values from that same range. So I'm gonna do this, F4, close parentheses, like this, and hit enter. And if I drag this formula down, you'll see that now we can tell the difference between a blank and non-blank. And we should be able to do this with XLOOKUP too. So in this case, the return array is this, which is this I column. So again, we can do an if statement and say, if that equals to blank, then blank, oops. There we go, blank. Otherwise, we're gonna do the same range right here and F4 to lock the range right there and close parentheses for this to get this all together. And that should again do the same thing with XLOOKUP. So in older versions of Excel, you would probably need to do control shift enter when you do this array to make this work. In newer versions, you don't have to, it kind of handles with dynamic arrays. But this was one of my biggest issues from the way index or VLOOKUP work already. And unfortunately it wasn't fixed. Now this is one of the things that Google Sheets got right to begin with. So if we do the same thing in Google Sheets, if I just open this, right here, and I just do a simple VLOOKUP, right? So I'm gonna do this search key, the same thing, comma, and let's just close this. And then I'm gonna do this in this table. I'm gonna do F4 to, again, absolute reference that, comma three, comma zero, or false, whichever one you wanna do. And if I just drag that formula down, Google Sheets will know that some of them are blank and some of them are zero. This gets me a blank, doesn't get me a zero. So I don't have to do that crazy if trick here to fix that situation. And I think it all comes down to the way Excel handles the reference to an empty cell, right? So in Google Sheets, for example, if we have a zero here and we have an empty cell here, if we go next to this and do equals this zero, we're gonna get a zero. But if I go here and do equals to this blank cell, I'm gonna get a blank cell. That's the way Google Sheets handles the difference between a zero and a blank. Now, if we go to Excel and look at the way Excel is handling this, if I have a zero right here and I go do equals this, it gives me a zero. And if I do equals this blank cell, it basically treats that as like a number and makes it a zero. And that's the same sort of problem that's probably happening here with this lookup functions. So hopefully they'll get it right the next time, but that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.